houses of Parliament have given us many things, notably the picturesque beef eaters who search among the vaults for a modern Guy Fawkes. And Guy Fawkes himself, the man whose attempt to blow up the government gave us the glorious 5th of November. Guy Fawkes Night was celebrated in no uncertain manner at Edenbridge, Kent, for the show which attracted sightseers from miles around. After a torchlight procession through the town, the centre of attraction was a bonfire of monstrous size, a sight to warm the hearts of Edenbridge folk when they start gathering winter fuel. Plenty of fireworks too made a glittering finale to a well-remembered fifth. Kent, things were bound to go off with a bang at Headcorn's crazy night when a torchlight procession was the prelude to Guy Fawkes celebrations. Enjoying her golden reign as Carnival Queen was Miss Barbara Standing, while film star Belinda Lee was the guest of honour. Among the many ingenious floats was the spirit of automation, the mechanical guy of the 20th century. For the benefit of younger merrymakers, we recall that it's exactly 350 years since Guy Fawkes tried to blow up Parliament. Perhaps there was an autumn budget that year. After the firework display, claimed to be the biggest ever seen in the Weald of Kent, Belinda Lee lit the giant bonfire. So Headcorn's crazy night kindled a warm response, not only on behalf of a worthy charity, but in the traditional celebration of the fiery fifth. Exhilarating. You get all these dangerous sports of bungee jumping and that, and we just do it. We just get tar barrel rollers. tongue-in-cheek it's a bit of a laugh isn't it uh, but yeah I reckon maybe we need Guy Fawkes to maybe sort out Parliament what do you reckon because nothing else has worked 